Pat. Yo, it's Wild 94.1, man. Ready, set, ready. A bootleg, Kev. You already know. We got a special show tonight because we have got the entire... Well, listen, let's be honest. We got two-thirds of the main roster of funk volume in the building because Jaron Benton is a degenerate who yes. probably woke up in some random stripper's bed in Miami. Absolutely. That's true. Yes, <laughs> and, and it's running late. But we got Dizzy Wright <laughs> and we got Hobson in the building. Yep. Fellas, how y'all doing? Good. Yeah, we're good. A little tired. Um... Just from touring for so long, but we're good. When's the last time you guys all toured together? Because I went on the first. I'm, I remember the the tour you guys shot the documentary. I actually got to go to the one in. Uh, uh, it was the show in Tempe. Uh, but but when's the last time everybody's been together on the road? 2012. That was the that last was the last time, time that so, we all yeah. that we all toured together. FV 2012 tour. And that was in a van. Now you guys have a bus. Yeah, we had two <laughs> vans. Yeah, two vans last you have two time. Two buses. Two, two buses. Yeah. Oh wow. Two buses, yep. <laughs> so who who's like on each bus? Like who who do who Hobson? You have your own bus because you. I mean, obviously, yeah, you're yeah. Um, you got to FaceTime d- with the boo. D- is it what is yours? I always refer to yours uh, as the weed bus, but I know you don't smoke. I know you only smoke in the back, but yo, well, I, yeah. Uh, the production is on my bus, <laughs> 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 uh, and then the merch is on his bus. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the merch. <laughs> the the merch. Lots yeah. of production meetings in the back. <laughs> they're very, they're, they're they're very foggy. Yeah. So it's it's, it's me, Jaren, and the um, people work with the label and one of the production. So I'm I'm people. curious. We were just talking about this off the air. Uh, you guys, for people who don't know what tour life is about, it's not very glamorous. Uh, you guys cannot take a dump on the bus. This is a no. We cannot. Is, we absolutely. cannot. I. I I'm pretty sure there are buses out there. I feel like Justin Bieber can take like a Justin crap on Bieber his bus. Justin Bieber can do it every once in a while. Will sure, Smith, Will Smith Will, probably got it. Yeah, Smith, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Will Smith probably got it. But but at, at this level that we're at, we we can't take no dumps on the bus. So what happens? You just gotta hold it to the to the gas station. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. What what we usually do? We wake up in the morning and we always ask people like, "Yo, did you you take a crap this morning? Where'd you do it at? Where? Which is that bathroom cool? Which one? And we we're just roaming around the the block or the venue." <laughs> Trying to find a place. Don't tell, don't tell the fans that they're gonna be coming looking for us. In the morning, they're, they're be like scouting <laughs> they, out gas stations. They're gonna be somewhere trying to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it's like man. y'all know, like yo, man, if it's this this brand of gas station, we know they got pretty clean bathrooms. So yeah. I, I usually um like sometimes I, I've skipped like two days where it's just like, dude, I'm I'm on stage here performing. I'm like, man, I need to go so bad. And like a lot of times at those venues, like you know, unless there's like a really fly backstage area, like you know, mm-hmm. the, the bathrooms can be kind of. No, man, those are, yeah, those are old beat up rock and roll, exactly. tagged on toilets yeah. that I don't, I do not want to nah. be on those. <laughs> shit, I, shit, nigga, you know, <laughs> I put the toilet paper down. <laughs> <laughs> I push it down. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. Um, uh, first of all, Hop, I, I gotta say, man, the album I think uh, is incredible. I think it's uh, the album that fans have been wanting. Oh, um, thanks. I know, Thank I know, you. I know. I, I was, I wasn't necessarily disappointed, but I, I was a little disappointed with the, with the previous album, and mm-hmm. I think that this album, really like, it, it was fulfilling as a fan. I was like, this is the hop that, like, you know, I think yeah, people yeah. really. But oh, did you feel that thing. same way, like, like while you were recording it? Because I know we kind of talk about this on the phone. Where were you I, at mentally for the the the, the, the album previous to now? Was yeah, it, well, I just wanted um, well, pr- previously I, I was just I was more depressed on the last. Not that this album just did, but the one before that, um, Knock Madness. Knock Madness, yeah. So, I mean, it shows a lot in that music. I just had a lot of stories about my life. I was just all over the place. This album is, um, the new one, Pound Syndrome, is just, I just wanted to make a, a bunch of songs with just dope beats. I, I, it was just kind of me working on my production and, and my mix, mixing and mastering game and all that. But, um, but, but, yeah, I just wanted to make some dope songs to just vibe to, that, and which will potentially set me up for the next album or the next songs after that because I really want to just understand production on a whole different level. I've been producing my whole career doing all my stuff, but I just want to take it to another level now once I get back home off this tour. Um, yeah, and then you had the big stunt where you uh, obviously you quit rap as it, it yeah. was very funny. The video <laughs> oh, yeah, with you yeah. and Jaren was hilarious. Uh, thanks, um, thanks. But I feel like it was it's that was always kind of like something like, like, like hanging over the crew like when I would like talk to Dizzy or Jaren like they would always get brought up like, yeah, what's up with Hobson? You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Did you, mm-hmm. did, I mean, what brought you out of the funk? Because, you know, uh, 
I think that a lot of fans, I mean, you know, you've said things yeah. on Twitter. You're very yeah. open. Yeah, yeah, you don't, yeah. Let's, no, let's I, say, sometimes people, you know, you might want to get the Twitter away from Hobson. Yeah, he does yeah, not that is true. <laughs> you know <laughs> that is mean? true. You're like Meek Mill, but the underground <laughs> version when it comes to social media. Yeah, yeah. But what got um, you out of the funk, man? What got except you I don't, like? Except I don't lose rap battles, but um, but yeah. Except for you don't lose rap battles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. This is true. Yeah, but I I just yeah, I'm just I'm just open. But what what was the question exactly? I was saying said, like what, what brought you out of the funk, man, that got you like really refocused on the on the music? Um we all had like this funk volume retreat thing last year where everybody, all the I artists on the this. label, we all met up. We got like this big old mini mansion style house and we stayed there for like three or four days and we were all just talking about everything and venting about how we felt about everything and, and each other and what we how we saw the label where we wanted to be at. And then so everybody just came to the conclusion that we, we, we decided that we wanted to do a, a 2015 tour. And, you know, if, and if we did that tour, I'm not going to be doing the old, old right. music like that. I, wanted, I, wanted, I want some new stuff. And Dizzy and Jaren were going to be dropping projects, so I didn't want to be like the, the, weak, guy, the yeah. weak link on yeah. the label. Where it's like I ain't dropping nothing. So it, it just motivated me to want to release something as well. So I decided to give it another round and just go with it. Um I mean, deep deep down in my mind, I, I still do have. I love the idea of me just disappearing from the rap game and just taking all my money that I have and just going to live in another country or even becoming a backpacker. And but I but yeah, the whole Australia thing. Like I I just decided it it wasn't it wasn't time. Like I'll still be out there with my girlfriend and all that, but I'm not not trying to just permanently put myself there and quit yeah. rap. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy, uh, the uh, the position that you've been in is is you've you've kind of you know put the most music out. I feel like you're always releasing material when it comes to funk volume as a label. You definitely put out the most material since you've been signed to the label. Right. Um, what is next? The album came out. It was super dope. Uh, your second official, your sophomore album. Yeah. Um, I know you, I mean, you know, you've got studio time tonight. It's like, you're always recording, bro. Like yeah. you got out projects with Mark Battles and Demrick. It's just like yeah. so much music. What, what what are you working on like right now? Because I know that there's always something going on with Dizzy, right? You know, are you dropping another collaborative project? What, what the hell is going on with Dizzy? Yeah, um, I got a bunch of shit, bro. Uh, I think I'm just gonna step back though for a second. Uh, like Hop, Hop, I had a conversation with Hop, and he was pretty much saying like, you know, you gotta kind of drop them nuclear bombs, you know, and when they hit, make sure they hit home. So uh, instead of giving them like a full project or just something little on the side. Um, I'm going to start dropping the nuclear bomb. Yeah. I'm just working. Working, 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 working. Yeah. But you're, um, Demerick's on the tour, right? No, nah, no, nah, he was on the last tour. The oh, he was on the, okay, that's right, that's yeah, right, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we toured a little earlier. But what you guys, I mean, he's, I feel like Demerick's been around for so many years and what you guys put out together was dope. What's your guys' like friendship like and, and um, yeah, Demerick's work relationship? Yeah, Demerick's guy, bro. Uh, we did a project on the road. We just got like, just like I'm doing now, I got the studio yeah. session at night. We just go to the studio on the off days and go up all night. We we recorded some crazy shit. We got a bunch of niggas on this little tape too. We got Burner, we got Be Real, yep. Audio Push, a um, couple other cats. But yeah, uh, he's, a good, he's a good dude. Uh, when it comes to the tour, mm -hmm. obviously you guys all are, are, are hilarious, like dope dudes. Who is like the the prankster on the tour? That's that's always giving no, up. <laughs> well, no, yeah, you be getting what? No, they say he walked up yesterday in a disguise. Okay, who hop? Yeah. I did that. Okay, yeah. that, that topped it off. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Wait, you got a disguise on? I had a disguise. A full on mustache with three kind of wigs and because, because I can't walk because sometimes that shows like our. I'm at, I'm there, and I'm like, man, I just want to walk you around. Just wanna and just want to hang out. I want it, but I, but I don't want to be crowded. I just want to be there and enjoy it, and like, right. just be able to walk, and then just. So you were in the crowd in a disguise. Yeah. What? I, it, I, was, I, it was crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. Yo, it was crazy. Let me see what he said. He said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, people. Nobody even looked twice. <laughs> I mean, so only only when I was in too much light, then they saw they're like, oh, that's that's Hobson. But that's um, crazy. But yeah, because okay, that was I forgot. <laughs> that's I completely forgot about that. Yeah. I that just left my brain. That's I the guess. only time you've done that. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Are you still playing skate with with fans before every, the every every now and then? I don't. It's not like that was my thing on the last tour I did, where it was like I'm playing skate with fans every show. But, you like go to their house and stuff. And, um, I, I've done that a few times just in my career. Go go to some people's houses. I don't do that too often, but um, but yeah, I don't I don't play skate as much because I'm I'm tired a lot in this tour. I'm just sleepy and then I just try to rest as much as I can. And when you gotta take a crap. Sometimes you don't feel like playing skate. You're just like, man, nah, listen. listen. Look, I haven't taken a shit in two days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can't skate right now. I'll shit my pants. And then I'll be on yep. World Star. Yeah. But uh, back to the prank thing. This guy, well, he's crazy. He was playing. I feel like w- Dizzy would he, be the most chill out of everybody. No, no. When he gets turned up, he's turned up. He he tried to fight everybody on the tour two nights ago on his tour bus. <laughs> he was he was going crazy. Body was he, slamming was he, people. Was he drunk? Him, Yes. <laughs> He was wild. He it was it's crazy. I got lit in Orlando, bro. What were you? What, I mean, y'all had an early show in Orlando too. Yo, yeah. that's what it was. See, that's what it was. It was that mm-hmm. early show, and then it turned into a club. And you just stuck like around. A hood club. Yeah, like yeah. A, Beach I just is got ratchet. excited, bro. Yep. Just he I ain't was... been in a function in a minute, and we just got lit in there. Me and the homies in. My bus kind of turned into like a WWE match. They were going hard. It was crazy. Like really, there's a video of them just like beating each other up. Like, wow. (laughs) But nobody ever see that video though. (laughs) Are you guys doing a documentary for this tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dope, dope, dope. The first documentary, uh, how did it do? I mean, I know it was like on Revolt and, and, you know, of course um, the fans picked it up. But I I mean, I want to see it on Netflix. I feel like it's something should be on Netflix. Yeah, I want to see it on that. It still could be on there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't don't, don't know how, I don't know as far as like how it did exactly. I don't know the numbers and all that. I just know we made it and put it out. That that would be like. I think it did fairly well. I think most, a lot of fans seen it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, they talk about it a lot. Um, Hop, uh, the acting thing. You were in the TNT show earlier this year. Yeah, Murder in the First. Uh, How did that show, did that show end up like doing like. Like I stopped hearing about it after a while. Did it, did it like get picked up? Um, I don't know if it. I don't know if they're picked up for another season or not. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea what the you whole... did well in it. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was a cool experience. Yeah, it was a cool experience for me because I've always wanted to just be a part of a TV show, not just a day player, like on it for the whole season. Yeah. So it's dope to just see how everything works and just even me working on my my skills as an actor, just talking to the other actors, asking them what they do because I just got. I kind of just got thrown into it, and I, it, it came unexpected because I, I didn't plan to be, do any TV show this year. It's just the director um, or one of the writers reached out to me and made a post saying, can anybody get in contact with Hobson? And then the next day I went in, and I was just on the show. And it's did, like, man, like so I, it just came out of nowhere. Did that, like, spark the, the put the battery in your back to do the acting thing again? Like, yeah, I want to do it, but I also um, it, I, I want I, to – it, it does make me want to do more acting. It's just, I think I, I'm, I think I'm Funk Volume should just do like a really bad like straight to straight to Netflix movie like like Snoop <laughs> and like Wiz did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh no, nah, is, is, is that a good movie? Did you see it's, that? It's it's horrible. Oh, it's <laughs> a terrible movie. God bless Wiz and Snoop, but yeah. oh but God, I think so it'd be good. funny to yeah. just have all y'all acting in some like random like hood, I hood do, comedy. Yeah, too, yeah right? I want to do some little hood comedy <laughs> straight up. Hood, hood comedies are the funniest. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't. You're like on Netflix. There's a a movie called White Tea about like a magical like white tea. And YG's in it, and it's so bad. <laughs> oh, really? It's it's like it's literally about a magical like like tall tea. Like what the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that sounds crazy. <laughs> man, but that I definitely want to um get into acting more. I man, I would have loved what you know would have been dope that 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 Fantastic Four movie. I didn't know they was gonna have a black guy play that. Yeah, the, and the, he didn't do a good job. You could have oh, did oh, better. Yeah, they, oh yeah, I did. I did, I never that was a, at, that was a god awful movie. <laughs> I I it was. I would like to play a role like that though. Those I I, go, I I don't look at the actor too much, but I'm watching those movies. I'm just seeing the. You could have been the the Human Torch, and you, you would have did better than that. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad you think so. But um, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that I, I would love to be like a superhero or a villain or something. That would be sick. Uh, I, Dizzy, uh, you are becoming like like a, a icon in the weed world. Um, you got guys like Burner who are like entrepreneurs, like to the max when it comes to taking advantage of all the legalization and stuff. Are you like dab- dabbling in, you know, some investments in in that industry because it seems like Oh, absolutely. You got you got your own strain. I mean, what do you what do you what do you uh what are you into uh in 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 the weed world that 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 you have, you know, some interest in that fans can go out and support and and all that. Yeah, I'm just starting there though with the weed right now. Being on tour is kind of hard to really get into it, but I'm um putting some entries in uh cannabis cups. Oh, dope. Yeah, the next three. So we're going to do Jamaica, SoCal. Very nice. Um, Who smokes the... I mean, you smoke a shit ton of weed, but 
I mean, who smokes the most weed rapper wise that you've ever hung out with? Because I feel like there's like I, every time I see Wizzy smoking, every t- like it doesn't matter what's going on, the guy will sm- figure out a way to smoke inside. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Burner's a guy too. Yeah, Burner smokes all the fucking time. Yeah, uh, Demrick. Demrick all the time. Demrick for sure. Demrick. Demrick. <laughs> he he he's he's he smokes more than anybody. Oh no no I'm not gonna I, say smoke. More I'm saying more. who smokes like 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 who who can out smoke Dizzy Wright is what I'm asking I guess. I don't know. He said no, but I haven't met him. No no I don't I don't know. <laughs> I haven't met Wiz. I mean, I'm sure they smoke. You haven't met Wiz? Nah. That's crazy. You would yeah. think. Snoop. Snoop probably could out smoke me. That's probably true. Oh, be real. Be real. Be real. I ain't even going to front on be real. He be rolling them big ass joints. The funky tips, too. Yeah. And that yeah. shit's cool, but I, my shit just be player. A little player blunts or a little joints, you know. But sometimes I take it there. But yeah, you know, be real to smoke them big ass joints. Now, y'all, all day. y'all, the, the video you shot with Burner, didn't y'all have like a gigantic, like. Yeah, I mean, I could smoke a lot of blood. But yo, who, I ain't who, who of rolls myself. that? Like, what do you, what, what the fuck? How much weed was Ozzy, in that? The homie Ozzy wrote that. Yeah. What is that like? A, what amount of marijuana did it take to put into that? Uh, it was uh, four zips, I think. Jesus Christ. Yeah, four zips. That's crazy, man. All right, well, uh, Jaron Benton's still not here. Uh, <laughs> on us. Shout God, out to Jaron. If you got any questions, I can answer them. Why? Well, I, I am I, curious. I, can do my- I know Jaron has a really bad porn addiction. So, like, what is, like, the jack-off? <laughs> what's the jack-off situation on the bus? Do you, like, yo, yo, guys, I'm about to rub one out. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. How does that work out? Well, I guess I, I'm the guy to talk about that, Dizzy. He, he talks about marijuana. I talk about jacking off. <laughs> um, Jacking off on tour. It's very important. It's very important to keep your sanity. Of course. You need to jack off on tour, especially when you're not getting any pussy or anything. You have to keep your sanity because especially if you're not a bunch of guys who do a bunch of guy shit all the fucking time, you're just like, man. So I book my hotel rooms. You want you do it in the room? Do it in the room. Got my got my hotel rooms. Um and yeah, I get a hotel every day. Okay, and then it's up to you to like stay in it or stay on the bus. But obviously, you want to stay in the hotel, right? Because yeah, yeah, I want to stay. Yeah, so I don't yeah, get just, a hotel. Nah, yeah, I get it all. You stay in the bus. Yeah, yeah. And then you, how, yeah. how's the like like tour life with having a girlfriend that lives in Australia, which is literally on the other side of the world? Yeah, I mean it's 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 hard. I get I'll get to see her once I once I get off tour, but um, I mean it's it's, it's pretty much the same as everybody else's because nobody gets to see their girlfriend on tour really. I mean, oh wait, yeah, and of course Dizzy, Dizzy's got his lady too. Yeah, yeah. My so kids. and yeah, you just first yeah, of all, so congrats he, on the second, the second child. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, so it's a lot of FaceTiming going on, obviously. Mm-hmm. Tons oh, of absolutely. that. A lot of FaceTime them there every day. All right. Well, look, we're gonna play a record right now. Uh, let's do. Hmm. <clears throat> we could do the Fly record. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. Let's Hobson, do. Uh, the album's out right now. Jaron Benton is. I don't know what what what. What is Jaron Benton doing with his life? We don't know. Who knows? But uh, let's do that. We're coming right back. Funk Volume taking over for two hours tonight on Ready Set Radio, man. It's Wild 94.1. Wild 94.1 in the middle of that. Funk Volume take over. You already know what it is, man. Ready Set Radio. I got Hobson in the building. I got Dizzy Wright in the building. They're on tour right now. Uh, Sir. They'll see. They did Orlando last night. Unfortunately, they did not do a Tampa show. But they are here, nonetheless. So they did did come through and show some love to the city. Um, I know in hip-hop, there's like... Tons of acquaintances. I always say there's more acquaintances than actual friendships. The both yeah. of you guys, outside of your immediate camp, who would you guys consider like actual friends in the industry? Um, friends in the industry. I got a few homies. Who? I mean, aside from the crew. Like, if you guys fell off tomorrow what? and like you guys weren't like you know you know if you guys became fucking chingy tomorrow yeah which yeah. would never happen it, it would um I, I recently i guess i i mean i don't i don't i wouldn't say i don't have too many like industry i don't i don't know too many rappers like that so dizzy would know more than i do i'm I'm always in my age so close closest thing and this is still pushing it with um me me and logic have kind of um, developed a cool because you guys personal. both don't fuck with nobody. If you've seen the logic yeah, video, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, so I, I met, yeah, I, I met, I met up with him. Um, yeah, I chilled at his house. You know, we um keep in touch, and um just on a personal level. So we not, it ain't really on no like. You guys, hey, you I guys haven't done music together, right? Huh? You and him haven't. No, no, no. That's what together. I'm saying. So it's just like on, it's just on on a personal. Which is dope. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah, so I don't even like address him as 
as logic or anything. But it's just so that that would be. But even but we still like we don't kick it like that. But right. but we we to. do keep in touch. But that that's really I I don't keep I don't really know any other rappers to be honest. What about you, Dizzy? Uh, shit, logic, <clears throat> pro era. Shout out to Joey was in town last night. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah. How was that? It was sold out. It was good. Yeah, it was it was very very good. Oh yeah. Um, oh, and Tech Nine, I'm tripping. Tech uh, Nine is the homie, Tech homie, nine homie. Is the super Tech Nine homie. is the homie, homie. Yeah. Tech he nine yeah. Is the super duper homie. Yeah. How much did you learn from Tech? Like, like early on, because I, I that was the first time I ever heard you. From, yeah. Was I uh, am I a psycho? That was the first time I ever even heard of you, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. So like, Man. I know I know that that song in particular puts you in front of a whole bunch of new people. Yeah. What did you learn from from being around Tech and? Um. Well, the, the main thing I learned was to be humble, cause this dude, cause cause when you first come into the game, you, the perception of a rapper is like, you think you got it, you think when you get there, you got a floss that you there, like I'm here right now right. and I'm this, and you better respect it and this. I mean, people should still respect it, but at the same time, you're still human. So when I first met him, he was just so humble. I was like, this is Tech Nine walking in. Actually, this is Jaron Ben walking in right now. Oh my now. God! Look who decided oh. to just fucking show up, oh Mr. Layman. Oh yes. God. Black, I got an excuse. Yeah. Jaron Benton, did you have an all night bender last night in Miami? Oh, man, did I? Woo! He's a lion, my <laughs> <this guy. laughs> He's lying. Oh, man. Jaron Benton just decides to, to walk in. What, what, what's, why are you late, Jaron Benton? Well, first of all, let's start with my skin tone. I'm black. Okay. Um, I'd like to point out DNA. that your 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 your, your, <laughs> your friends here and label mates are also African American. And, yeah, not nah, Hobson. We're, we're, we're he's early. not really black. <laughs> to be honest, bro, he's right. I'm not. <laughs> and Dizzy, he's uh, only reason he made it is because uh, I don't know. <laughs> you got nothing. Cause I of got Brooklyn. nothing. Because of Brooklyn. Because of Brooklyn. He has <laughs> he he's on the bus with white people, so they got him up in time. <laughs> but so are you. You're on the bus with Flick. Flick's not white. <laughs> he he's not. He's clear. How you doing, kid, man? I'm good, man. Uh well, what's up, dude? How's tour life? Uh, man, we, we already I'm, talked about uh how you jack off a lot on the bus. Nah, you know I don't jack I'm off. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. On the bus. At uh, all. I got it. When I jack off, I gotta be in privacy. Like I can't even nobody can be around. You like, still I'm have the browser's password I gave you some time. I never go, oh, man, I need to use it. Well, you guys, you had a browser browser's password. I still got it. I got I got a <laughs> lifetime password. You really do? Oh yeah, I got y'all. Oh, please give that to me. Yeah. I, man, that, that, <laughs> that, that <laughs> there's nothing like watching HD porn. I can't no, and I yo, don't everyone, I know. Yo, everyone always is like, why do I need it? I'm like, fam, because oh, it's, 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 a it's, it's in 4K, my G. Yes, that's what, and then and what's crazy, when you see it, you're like, oh, it's like I'm there. It, it really yeah, is. Man. HD porn is the best. I got a new, I got a porn star. She's not a new porn star. Who's new, your new porn star? Bella Donna. Oh, man, Bella she's, Donna, she's retired Bella, Bella now. I know, but I Did you I'm see just, her take the Louisville slugger up the ass? No. Oh, really? She had took a whole baseball bat, right? And I seen her when she was pregnant. Like having sex with this chick, Bruh. and man, Bella Don is the, the grossest bitch of all that's time. Tight. I swear to God, man, that's, that's, oh my God! And I would pay to fuck her. <laughs> swear and to God. Also, what can I curse? No, oh. she, yeah, yeah so I, I'm gonna edit it. But also, she, also Kelly Wells is very nasty. Do you know who that is? I've heard of her. She's very nasty as well. I would pay. Ava Devine's a nasty. Yo, Ava Devine. Oh, and uh, <laughs> who else is a little nasty bitch? I want is uh, Gian- Jody Gian- Taylor. Jody Taylor's yeah. pretty serious. Skin dot. Y'all fuck with skin dot? Uh, yeah, of I mean, course. Come on. Gianna Michaels, that her name. Gianna Michaels. I already, already. We Gianna already Michaels. Gianna Michaels. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, That's the yeah, one. Not, yeah. Who's who's your favorite all time uh, porn star? Dizzy, you're over there. You got nothing to say about nah, the porn. Yeah, I don't got one. Man. He, 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 don't got one. He too cool for this conversation, but nah, he too cool. Nah, nigga, I watch a little porn every now and then. <laughs> nah, you know, nah, man. Yeah. Nigga, I watch a little porn too. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't. Man. Shit, I don't know. He's that. like, I don't, I don't know their names. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I always want Y'all the H- niggas invested. I always want the yeah. HD porn subscription, but I don't want my accountants going on seeing all my my the, what I've done. <laughs> I'm like, man, I want to do it so bad, but they are gonna see all this stuff. So I just stay away from it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I search. I got HD. y'all. I got y'all. I got like yeah, I mean, password's yeah, been good for like man. eight years. Okay, oh. I, I don't pay for it. Oh, Sometimes it'll like get banned because it's from it's from them. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, who, they gave that personal yeah. password to you. Yeah, that's and, tight. But that's it'll get it'll only be banned for like two days and it'll be good. That's Damn. tight. Do you know any porn stars? Uh, yeah, there's a few out here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Who you know? Uh, Gianna Nicole, who's the new chick that uh, Riff Raff was banging out, which I'm not sure if anybody wants to go near her. After after Riff Raff had it, had to see her. Uh, yeah, she's bad. there's some bad bitches out here in Tampa that are porn stars. Yeah, we might have to hang out. Tampa, we in here. Come on, man, we here. You know, Tampa, might, might yeah. got a day off. We have to congre- congregate. You know, day off. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, but no, we were talking. Uh, I mean, obviously, you missed the whole interview for the most part because you're you're an asshole. I'm black. 
Uh, but but what's going on with you, Jaron? Man, I'm chilling, man. I'm enjoying life. Slow Motion EP Volume 1 was dope. The fucking album's coming out. Uh, Static Select, um, and I will put that song on the next project. You heard it first here. So Static Select has got a song on the project. He got a song on the project. What uh, else is going on? I know you sent me on? some some early stuff that you were trying to get Yeah, I was, guys I was working on. on that project with the homies. Uh, um, Dirty York Dirty York Club, man. Um, that shit's almost done. And uh, I'm just working on music, man. I'm just going to start throwing out music in between working on this new album. So the That's album it. is like what percent of finished? I have to be honest with you. I would say 30%. 30%? Yeah, 30% done. Kato, obviously. No. No Kato? No, it's maybe two. I'm 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 leaning away from Kato on this one. Is that like a personal thing? Like, fuck Kato? Yeah. I'm nah, just, nah, nah, nah. It's never personal. I'm just, playing. I'm just trying to go with a different sound. Nah, I hear you. What is so. the sound? I mean, I feel like you have like a good... Uh, you know, I'm trying to go with Yeezus mixed with Crystal Castle mixed with fucking Trap. All right. Well, I don't that know. I don't even know what. I don't even know how to take that. I don't either. But eh. that sounds ridiculous. Don't it does sound kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> is there, the has there ever been a talk of you guys doing like an official like funk volume compilation? Like, I feel like you that know, would be dope. Tech always does like the strangulation joint. I think Wait. that'd be super dope. Yeah, we worked. We actually worked on some music together, man, and it was going to happen. And well, Hobson, well, how do you? I mean, how, is that I still got those songs in my house? We just got it. Dame yeah. shut us down. He's listening to him. He's like, I ain't that it. It, it ain't really sounding good. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened. We there was a few dope ones that could be revived, it, but um, yeah, but it could happen though. It could happen. Yeah. I, I mean that. I wouldn't say that's necessarily the main focus when we get back home, but they're there if we feel like doing it. We can always just. Uh, uh, hop, I know that uh, you are in a, a, a critique of some garbage hip hop. What is some good hip hop that's out right now that you are liking or feeling, if any? I like J. Cole. I like Kendrick. I like Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf album was really good. Love Story was dope. I like Big Butts and I Cannot Lie. Okay. <laughs> Touche. Stupid joke. What, um, what else do I like? <laughs> <laughs> See that joke kicks in. It takes like five seconds. But um, <laughs> what else? I, yeah, I, I, anybody, anybody. I, I, I do. I like Drake. Drake is. Dope. What are your thoughts on the on the Drake Meek Mill situation? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I don't. I don't think uh, both the songs. They're they're cool. It's like there's two worlds. There's the there's judging it from the like general hip hop. Yeah, like the, the commercial world and judge right. So as as me being like the backpack rapper that's in me, I did both both. Yeah, charged this, up to me was so garbage. Yeah, yeah like it, it, it was it wasn't dope. It but just I can was whatever. Real? I can understand. I didn't like charged up. I no, it was it was cool. Like it was cool. But if it was the underground and he made that diss to like an underground artist, see this is the way would, I feel it about it. Have, is it there hasn't been any uh, beef records? From an artist of that stature in like a long year. No, I know. So people are hype. No, so people so, like literally. It could have been anything, and they would have been like Joe Drake. Yeah, but yeah. It, but if if it was like, I, I but if it was yeah, the, the way he did it, it was it was in a very commercialized way where it's like it's almost like he just did it specifically so people can chant the lyrics and know every word to it because he it said worked it. out for him. Yeah, def, it definitely did and worked in his favor. So I mean, I can I can understand he pl- he played the game very well on that. Knowing that he could accomplish it and beat him in that way, but um, do you think your fans hearing you just say that you're a fan of Drake? Are you gonna get like hate on Twitter? I feel like you're gonna no, no, because I've 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 admitted to it. Like I, I can acknowledge when somebody's dope. So he's not he doesn't rap like me, but I can't hate on him because he doesn't rap like right, me right. and have the aggressive, anger, hip hop sinister dark style. Like he he has a whole different style, but I'm very aware that he makes good songs. Like you can't I, you can't deny that. It doesn't matter if you're a super dark MC backpack rapper or commercial rapper. He makes good songs, and I can tell even from his lyrics, from the way he uses words and all that, that he he did have the MC stage, like the, the that like I guess you could say how I feel like every rapper grows up listening to like a super lyrical yeah, cannabis Wu Tang or one of those type of rappers. That, yeah. Like you you can tell it's there, and then he chose to take the route that he's taken with the way that he raps, and which is which is respectable. I didn't like him at first, but I become more open minded, and you know I'm, I'm aware that. You know, music changes, and and sometimes you just gotta ac- accept it. But I don't. I I do think he can rap, though. I don't think he's like whack. Jaron, we usually have the same opinion on uh, mm-hmm. hip hop. First of all, rest in peace, Sean Price. <laughs> oh, I know you man. and I are both big R. Sean Price fans. Sean P, dude. Oh, uh, what shit. are you bumping though right now, man? Sean P. The, I swear to God, I I fucking ordered his uh 
I ordered from the Duck Down site, man. And I've been listening. I've been jamming that shit for a minute. But um, let me see. I'm still bumping action, man. Um, who else I'm bumping? I, should I bump Drake too? I'm a, I'm a Run Drake. the Jewels is hard. I mean, I'm obviously, Killer Run Mike. the Jewels. If people go back to my Twitter feed when Run the Jewels first came out, they'll see. I've been listening to Killer in, Mike since like Ple- Pledge of Allegiance to the Grind, man. Come on, like, man. You go back. You'll see. I was the first rapper that jumped on Run the Jewels and saluted them and gave them the accolades that they deserve. That was me. I'm just consistent with the uh, Run of Juice. Who else I'm bumping right now, man? Probably uh, still a lot of rock shit, man. You know, I'm still Arcade Fire, dude. That stays in my playlist. Radiohead stay in my playlist. Um, who else, man? I'm bumping uh, Hobson and Dizzy shit, too, actually. Yeah. It sucks. Rightfully but. so. It'd be, kinda, it'd, be, it'd be kind of fucked up if you weren't. Yeah. So no. Anyway, yo, uh, we're going to come back and wrap it up with these guys. I'm going to let... Uh, Hold up, Kev. Yo. I'm just intrigued. What would happen if I hit the cough button? The mic would, would turn off. Oh, okay. Just hit call, and then you cough, and then you let go, and then it's back on. Oh, that's oh, what it oh, is. Oh, shit. Oh, so I didn't know. That. Okay, Because you're, you're not, <laughs> see? Yeah, because you're not supposed to cough. You know, it's like bad radio to cough on the radio. Oh, that's man, crazy. I'm, I'm in coughing. Yeah, you're good. It doesn't, I mean, it, you guys don't. I mean, if, it's, if, if I'm on here and I cough. Yeah, it's different. With that being said, I probably wouldn't. I've never hit a cough button in my life. Oh, uh, yeah, what you doing, man? you like, you're losing weight, bro. You're eating uh, I'm good. just doing meth. Oh shit! Yeah. Wow. Okay. You know, just uh, just just lots of meth, man. That's that's. But yo, uh, enough about my personal life. All right. I'm gonna let you introduce something from the EP, and then uh, we'll we'll have these guys back on, and we'll wrap it up. Uh, okay. Funk Volume Takeover. Jaron Benton just got here. Uh, he's got an EP that's on iTunes that you could go support. Slow Motion EP. What do you want to play off it, man? Uh, let me see what I want to play, man. Play uh, ooh. Play a tickophobia just because. No, don't play a tickophobia. Come on, man. Play Make up your W-H-W. mind. What is this? W H W. W H W. Let's do it. Play that. It's Let's the Funk that. Volume Takeover we right here on Wild ninety four one. It's Ready Set Radio, man. That Funk Volume Takeover live in studio. The whole label uh, minus Hopper and Swizz. Is Hopper's on tour with y'all right now, though, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, shout out to Hopper. Got a real dope project too. We gotta give yeah. him some love. Uh, it's Hoppin' Friends is the name Hop, of that, right? Hoppin' Friends and him and Dimrick got a project uh, Stony called Stony Point. Point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So shout out to Shout out to Hopper, real dope producer. Uh, but yo, man, we got Hobson, Dizzy Wright, and Jaron Benton in studio. Uh, what is the rest of? Well, I should say, what is 2016 looking like for the label? Because it's already, you know, it's already the end. I mean, great. It's gonna be a fucking amazing 2016 yeah. for the crew. Are yeah. we gonna get a Hobson album in 2016? No, but no. you will. No, you will get. You will get a bundle of Hobson songs, but I'm not. I'm not really interested in doing albums no more, only because the the specific situation that I'm in, I just feel like my albums get slept on, and it's it's almost like my my I'm bigger when I release individual songs, and so I'd I'd rather just drop like five or six songs a year, but make those songs big and be able to tour, cause and and just and just strategically plan those songs to where they can help my, help my growth. Would you do it? Uh, in mind, I know you, I know which record was it that was on the the album that had started off as the new Ill Mind. You said what? Um, Didn't you do some? There was a there was a song we talked on the phone. You said that when you were first writing it, it was supposed to be the next Ill Mind of Hobson, but it ended up just turning into a record on the album. Oh, um, oh, th- that that was gonna be like the Fly song. Fly, but, that's right. But, yeah. but I didn't. Yeah, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. I'm a, but I are you gonna I, do I, another Ill Mind? Um, I, I might. It's just if I, I've been thinking about it, but I'm just, I just it's, I just have to think of what I want it to be about because I don't want to do it and it not be powerful, you know. So the Ill Minds are supposed to be something extreme like really really so if i'm talking about god i'm really gonna talk about god if i'm talking about society i'm gonna go in in detail sometimes i just don't have anything to talk about that's that serious, that's that serious so yeah. I don't, and i don't want to be like reaching for something that's just like talk about the birds or some some crazy right, right, thing right. that our kids starving i mean i mean i could well, that, Tyler that, the creator whatever <laughs> yeah so I, I just have to i have to think of what i want to talk about and then just become comfortable with it and then just start writing but i haven't I, I might have an idea. I've been kind of thinking of something, but we'll see. That's what's up, uh, Dizzy. You you got tons of stuff you're sitting on. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, so will we get an album from you in the in the new year? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. But we will get music. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they gonna get music always from get me, music y'all. From yeah. Dizzy. Always, always. Yeah. I'm just gonna work on the best shit and then drop the best shit when uh. You know, just make it strategic. How's father life, man? You got two I love little it, ones bro. now. Yeah. I'm ready to get back home, bro. Yeah, you, I mean, you're new. You're new to the father life. I know Jaron's been a dad for a while. I've been a, I'm an old dad. <laughs> He's, I've been a dad Jaren's for a, a minute. Jaron's a lot. Old. We won't say how My old Jaron is. My kid's older than me. Yeah. Shit. 
Because I think people, I think people <laughs> think Jaron's like like 26 or something. No, I'm not 26. Well, I got a birthday coming up tomorrow yeah, too. Your birthday's today. tomorrow? It's tomorrow, man. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, Thank maybe you. Sir. If you're in I'm town, I'm not 40 yet though. You're not 40 I'm, yet. I'm 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 ways you, away from 40. You're away. What do you? How old are you? Just tell everybody. Tell so everybody how old I'm. 34 years old. 34. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yo, the shit. It's you right. know what's great? I never feel I never feel like a shame of like that. I don't know you why rappers be, man. do that. Like they feel like I'm proud of my age. Like two chains is really old. Two chains is old <laughs> as a motherfucker. They're tech nine, very old. They some old dudes. <laughs> That's yeah. why they don't like saying their age because he put the emphasis on the very <laughs> really. <laughs> I, love yeah. I love tech. I love tech. Can't just be tech nine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a legend. Yeah, he's, he's really a, I mean, old. Yo, he's they gonna be saying that uh, about yeah. us yeah. one day. Like Hobson, he's really <laughs> old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you I'm be like, why you gotta say really, man? You could just say I'm older. Oh man, <laughs> you gotta get it. Uh, and uh, we'll get a Jaren album for sure next year, right? Oh man, you go get a goddamn Jaren album. You go get some Jaren music. I'm just finna. I'm just. I Who feel, are you gonna be free basing with next? Is the real you know question. what's crazy, bro? I've been thinking about putting out another. I'm just not in that space. I'm going to do it because when I'm in, I, that shit's just pure ignorance. For the you free are, basing you are very series, it was just being. completely. Thank you. They're complete ignorant. I'm still ignorant, but I don't feel like displaying my ignorance right now. Yeah. I feel like I should give them some Did people you know, ever think intellect. that you actually smoked crack? Yes, like, all the time. Really? I had people come up to the show wanting Trying to smoke. Trying to give you crack? Yeah, not they. I never try to get crack, but they want to smoke with me, do meth with me. It's always I was gonna some ask, crazy shit. I, I know. I, I mean, there, there's got to be. You guys share. I mean, you, you guys have some crazy fans, and you guys do share some fans with, like, ICP and, like. Yeah. Yeah. How many times do you guys get offered like meth or some like ridiculous drugs? Like, I get offered that in type Albuquerque of shit. or something like. And yeah, they they don't offer it to me. I mean, people offer me to smoke, but I don't smoke. But nobody has ever offered anything crazier than that. I had a dude, man. This motherfucker, he pissed me off too. They hit a schizo shit. Don't get me wrong. I think I'm a little off in my own sense, but I'm not psychotic off. Right. Like I don't think about killing people, and I don't think about crazy shit like that. You know. But um, this dude sent me DMs these fucking photos. Of like this dude, it was a dead human being with like his dick cut off, shoved in his <laughs> mouth, and he, I'm like, what? What? Why the fuck would you do that? Yo, Jaren. Yeah. Your DMs are retarded. In, on a like, I yeah, don't see yeah. He, he, like, who the fuck? He do? gets he gets dead people in his DMs. I get naked girls. I get naked DMs, girls. So. Yeah. You don't get it wrong now. Shit, no, he gets dead naked get girls. Nah, you get dead naked. girls. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the, he's on that zombie <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah they, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm like that made me reevaluate myself. Like, damn, I'm, do I give off that energy to where you would see me and say, "Nigga, here, look at these photos of this nigga with his all dick right, cut well, off." Remind me that I was like, like <laughs> "Yeah, Jesus Christ." Yeah. All right. Well, Jaron, it was nice. It was nice seeing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the funk volume takeover in full effect. Um, and uh, look, I'm gonna let y'all. Uh, Close it out. Uh, any any last words uh, before you guys get out of here? I'm about to cough. <laughs> Follow him on on all, all your social medias. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. Uh, At Dizzy, right? Dizzy Hippie, right? Dizzy on, Hippie on, on Instagram. Instagram. Oh, Hopson Son on Instagram. H O P S I N S O N. And Hopson on Twitter, just H O P S I N. And for me, it's Jaron Benton on everything. That's my first and last Don't name. Don't send him. Don't send me no pictures of anybody dead. I don't want to see nothing <laughs> fucked up. Really, just send me women. Just send me naked pictures. That's all I should have in my DM. Naked fat, pictures. Fat women. So you can say, hey, if you're fat, you can send me a couple pictures as long as that thing clean and you look amputee, good. Amputee. Okay. BBW amputee. Yeah, you can send me that. That's that's the genre. If you go on his laptop, it's all BBW amputee, <laughs> amputee. genre would, erotic I cinema. I would take those versus a dude with his dick shoved in his of mouth. Of course you would. Day, so. <laughs> of course yeah. you would. Anyway, man, it's a wrap. The Funk Volume Takeover coming to an end. It's Wild 94.1. Well, 94.1.2. Well, <laughs> this is the Poulet Cap Show, and this I'm here with Dizzy Wright. This is the best. Dizzy. Low rider. <laughs> Dizzy Wright. Yeah, what's up, man?